but a recent one, um, we had a credit union, the RPS shot up to like over 3000, um, started collecting data right away. I, I like to use Jupyter notebooks and kind of like deep dive into uh, maybe like frequency based analysis. And that's actually what my paper is about is using frequency based analysis to try to derive like useful pieces of information because since the baseline from a credit union may only have like 0.5 RPS, when you have 3000 RPS, since the volume is so great, it's really easy to use that process and kind of like cherry pick useful pieces of information out of there. So um, I, I did kind of allude to some of these examples there, but anyway, so it shot up to 3000 RPS. Uh, the attacker was using user agent rotation that became very quickly apparent. Uh, they were using legitimate user agents, which isn't seen all the time, but uh, I think more savvy botnet rental services may, maybe they provide that as like an extra fee. You just kind of, <laughs> you click a checkbox and they tack on a little extra cost and you get user agent rotation. But anyway, so there's user agent rotation and obviously, um, you know, we could, uh, we could, we, we blocked via user agent rotation in that case. Uh, the other, another interesting case I saw was using TLS fingerprint rotation, which that's honestly, I think a little more difficult to pull off while using valid TLS fingerprints. It's easy to just rotate TLS fingerprints, but it's hard. It's more difficult to pull off and actually have valid TLS fingerprints. So um, those cases, we can actually detect and uh, block that as well. So that's that's another a useful, useful little tidbit there. But um...